Hello and welcome to the first video of our new series on learning the basics of using the REST API to manage your resources. In this video, we'll see how to sign in to your server using the REST API. It is the first step before doing anything more advanced with the REST API. Before we get started, I'm Geraldine Donnelly, aka GG. I'm a developer evangelist, enabling Tableau developers to be successful in the usage of our API and developer tools. But what is the REST API? If you are not familiar with the REST API, REST is a way of making a request to your Tableau server and getting response from it over the web. With REST request, you can do most of the things that you can using the server UI from a script or application you write. We also talk about the three P's, provisioning, permission, and publishing. We saw a lot of different use cases with the REST API. For example, you can automate setup of a new server with users and sites, create custom portal for organizations to manage the server with just the functionality they want to expose, generate images from Tableau dashboard, programmatically publish extract to server or create new subscription for users. But what are we going to learn during this video and during this series of videos? I'm going to teach you the basics of using the REST API to manage your resources. In this video, we are going to see the basics, but also how to sign in to your server. Then, in the second video, we'll see how to create a project, publish a workbook in this project. And on the third video, the last one, we'll see how to add users to your site and give users permission to the workbook. What do you need to follow along this video? First thing, you need Tableau Server version 9 and higher, or Tableau Online. You can get access to a developer sandbox site for free by signing up for the developer program linked in the description. I will be using a free developer sandbox in this video. When you join the developer program, you also get access to beta features, invitation to our dev team sprint demos, and so much more. You also need tools. There's many ways of making a REST calls. On this video, I'm going to use Postman, a popular desktop application for making REST calls. You have a link in the description to download the application if you don't have it yet. Now, let's jump to Postman. Now, we are on Postman and we are going to create a new request. For that, click on New at the top left to be able to create a new request. Select the first option, Request. Now we can name this request Sign In. We can also create a collection at the bottom. Collections are really useful in Postman. You can group related requests and it's going to be easier for you to access them and run them. So let's call this collection REST Tutorial. Collection. You can click on the plus sign, create collection. And now we are going to save to REST tutorial collection. Now we are going to change the verb. We want to change the verb to a post. We want to do a post request to sign in to the server. So the second option, post. And here we can type our URI, Universal Resources Identifier. So it's going to be the URL of your server. So here, HTTPS, then X. So if we have a look closer, we can see 
that we have first part is the URL of your server. I'm using my online dev site. So if you are using your dev online site, this part should be the same. So that's the URL of your server. Then slash API slash the API version here 3.4. Then slash off slash sign in. Now we have done that. We need to click on the tab called body. What we are going to do, we are going to write the request body in XML. So select the tab body and the option raw. Here we can type our XML request. So what is our XML request? TS request, credential name. Here I'm using is your username. So if you're using Tableau Online, it's going to be your email address, or if you're using server, check your username. Then password, and here you are typing your own password. Don't worry, I'm going to change my password after this video. So don't try to log into my Tableau Online. Then site content URL, and here's going to be your site name. So mine is ggtestdev. 466328, but yours is going to be different. So here's going to be your site name, and then we close the tag credentials and TS request. We are done with the request body, so we can send it. The top right, you have send in blue. We are going to click on send, and ta da! We are signing. If you are not, if you are not signing and you have an error message, check your password, username. Otherwise, try to look for an error message, and I'm going to put a link in the description to the error message list. But if you follow along with me, with the previous steps, you should have a response body similar to mine. So let's have a look at the response body at the bottom. So in the response body, we need to save two pieces of information for the next videos. First, the credential token. So this one. The credential token, this token will allow you the other calls to be authenticated as valid by your Tableau server. To keep things secure, the token has a limit time, typically two hours, and may be refreshed after that. Then you need the value of the site ID, this one, second one. This is the identifier for your default site on your Tableau server. Your users, workbook, views are all children of your site object. And you need this identifier to make REST calls to them. So copy and paste these two tokens, these two pieces of information, to be able to use them in the next video. It's really important. That's it for today. Thank you both for watching. And don't forget to join the Tableau Developer Program to learn more about our developer tools, hear about the latest news first, and get your own sandbox site for free. I will see you in the next videos. Enjoy the REST API. Bye-bye.